So according to the American Medical Association, there was a 94% increase in overdose deaths among teens between 14 and 18 years old between 2019 and 2020, 94%. And an additional 20% increase among that same age group between 2020 and 2021. The majority, 77% of these overdoses involved illicit fentanyl and synthetic drugs. Teens tend to think they're invincible, right? They don't realize just one pill can kill. Uh, Hannah Shaper is the Director of Education and Training at Drug Free Duval. She's also the coordinator of a group called Duval CoLab, which consists basically of, of local teenagers working together to spread awareness about self-medication among teens, which as we know, sadly, can lead to overdose. Good morning, Hannah. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So every time I read those statistics, and I've read them a number of times just personally as the mother of two teenagers, mm -hmm. it is just haunting, it's sobering, and it's frightening. Mm -hmm. And there is a real connection between mental health and how teens look at themselves and feel about themselves and also overdose when it mm -hmm. comes to self-medication. I mean, you've been doing this for a while. You meet <laughs> with these teens, and this group is fantastic, mm -hmm. by the way. These are not teens who are struggling in this mm -hmm. group by mm -hmm. any means. But given what you're hearing from them and hearing from the community, can you kind of explain this link between mental health and then overdose or, or a pill that can end up leading to overdose? Absolutely. So there's a few different scenarios, I guess you could say. One of them is some uh, teen who is diagnosed with a mental health condition. So anxiety, ADHD, depression, and they are on medication and they run out and they're going through a really stressful time. Let's say a breakup. We all go through breakups, right, right during yeah. that time. Or a test. They have really bad test anxiety and because they don't have access to those medication that they normally get, they'll order it online and they think they're getting the real pill and that's just not the case. But then we also have kids who aren't, or aren't diagnosed with a mental health condition but they think, oh, if I take ADHD medicine, it's going to make me do better on this test. Or, oh, if I take this Xanax, I'm not going to feel so bad about my boyfriend or girlfriend breaking up with me. And so they can also go to um, social media. But there's this misconception that if I take this medication, it's going to fix the problem. It's going to make me feel better, but they're not consulting with a doctor. And a big one is, I don't know about you, I have pretty bad social anxiety at a party. And I can see how drinking or um, smoking marijuana or taking a pill could make me feel a little bit better in the moment. But instead of doing that, I'm a dog person. I love dogs. I go for the dog. I go and that really calms my nerves and makes me not have that anxiety because by just taking medication, I'm not fixing that that real problem. Yeah, so it's interesting you point this out because, you know, when I was coming up, all of the things that you heard about in terms of drugs was heroin, crack cocaine, you know, maybe meth, amphetamine. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, I mean, you say Xanax, you say Adderall, and I think that there's this desensitization to it that, oh, it's just a pill, it can't yeah. harm you. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's what, that's what we're seeing with these numbers, are we not, when it comes to these overdoses, because they're laced. Absolutely. So the DEA in November of 2021 released a stat that four out of every 10 mm. pills, counterfeit pills, has a lethal amount of fentanyl in it. Well, about two or probably November of 2022, we got um, a new stat and it's now six out of 10 pills. It's a 60% chance that if you buy a p pill online um, through social media, it's gonna have a lethal amount of fentanyl in it. So, and we have this culture of, oh, you have a headache? Just take this medicine, which trust me, I take um, ibuprofen and whatnot, but I know where it's coming from. I go to the store or if I have strep and I'm taking an antibiotic, I go to that pharmacy. And so there's, there's this culture of, we we can fix this with this, these pills and it doesn't seem as scary. That perception of harm is absolutely lower around pills than it is heroin or cocaine like you mentioned. And to be quite frank, even when I was in college, if I experimented with something, I may get sick or not feel very good, maybe, maybe feel good, um, but I wasn't going to die because we weren't seeing fentanyl in, in these counterfeit pills. And that's just not the it case now like for the kids. It takes like six or seven grains of salt, yes. if you think about it in your head, yeah. for, for it to be a lethal dose. Mm -hmm. So that's so important. And so much of what you just shared with me mm -hmm. is exactly what the focus of Duval Code Lab is. Yes. So there's a teen summit. It's on Sunday. Well, I'll give the viewers um, the information and the specifics in okay. a minute. But I want to talk a little bit about the mission. Because you and I have had this discussion before <laughs> because I think so much about this group. I've 
personally been involved with, and it's amazing, these teenagers and what they're doing. This is not about preaching to mm -hmm. other teens, yes. because you want as many teens as possible to register and to and to join on Sunday. Mm -hmm. What is the focus? What, what for teens who are watching and parents who are watching, what will their student do on Sunday? So on Sunday, so um, it is not preaching, first of all. No adults are talking. We're saying no adults allowed. This is kids talking to kids, because that's what they told us is most beneficial. And they are focusing on First, self-medication, why do they do it? What are the root causes of self-medication? Is it academic pressure? Is it social pressure? Do they see it online all the time? Do they hear it in music all the time? And um, mental health specifically. So they're going to go into these breakout rooms to talk about root causes, then they're gonna come back out, report those, and go back into the breakout rooms because they're going to create some actionable solutions, which is what's important. They're going to leave the summit with these solutions that they then can go and implement throughout their day or implement within the community. And I want the community to know that they may challenge the community to be a little bit different and we have to be ready to support them and stand with them. And and I know Drug Free Duval's ready, I know you're ready, but I hope the community is ready as and well. And no pressure, you don't have no. to stand up, you don't have to give a speech, <laughs> nothing like that. And what's great is, is that you're also offering volunteer hours to all of yes. these high school students. Yes. Who can attend? What's the age group, if you'll explain? So it is all high school age kids, um, ninth to 12th grade, um, potentially even raising eighth graders because we know that we need to be talking to them as well. Um, and Absolutely, I will be signing off on those service hours personally. Um, I think they're gonna get about five service hours. It is from 12 to four and we are giving lunch. We're gonna give those community service hours. We're also having really fun giveaways. They're gonna leave with a merch bag. It's kind of beach themed so that <laughs> instead it. of picking up their phone or going to a party, they're gonna say, I'm gonna go to the beach and use that new towel that I'm getting. And what these <laughs> kids don't realize is they're gonna leave with a wealth of information that is not only going to help them, but it's also gonna probably help other teens that they encounter who may be struggling. I mean, this isn't, this is about parents as you're watching. This isn't, oh, my teen is struggling. Let me have them go to this teen summit. This is about just having a conversation with other kids your age. So I, here's the information. The teen summit is on Sunday, March 26. It's from noon to four, as Hannah mentioned. It's at the Wayne and Dolores Bar Weaver Center for Community Outreach. It's down on, on Philip A. Philip Randolph Boulevard, which is just near the stadium. Again, all teens though do need to register. I want to show you, there's a QR code. Grab your phone. Pull up your camera, snap this QR code. It will help you register your teen today. Sunday's Teen Summit, it's free. Bring a friend, <laughs> learn valuable lessons that can help them, someone they care about who may be struggling. Again, noon to four at downtown, near downtown. Hannah, thanks for your time. Of course, and thanks thank for you. organizing this. This mm -hmm. is so unique to the Jacksonville area that you can have local teens come together and have real conversations. We'll be right back. I'm Al Ferrero. During my two terms on the city council, I supported the governor's freedom agenda and fought to keep our spending and taxes low. I remain committed to the families who have already made Jacksonville their home. I will work to make our community safer and I will oppose overdevelopment. I will protect our existing neighborhoods. Together, we can make a safer Jacksonville for all our families. Left to their own devices, bugs will ruin your lawn. Don't trust the do-it-yourself approach. Let Turner give you the green lawn that will be the envy of all your neighbors. Visit turnerpest.com today to enjoy a healthy lawn. There's never been a better time to get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. You know I didn't come to play. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now's the time to get in and get away. Get a Sonata with 0% APR for 48 months or up to $17.50 bonus cash. Now, during the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Day or night, your loved ones show up for you. At HCA Florida Healthcare, we do too. because you're the center of our family, Florida's largest healthcare family. And you'll feel it in everything we do. HCA Florida Healthcare, we show up for you. Get new replacement windows and big savings during Renewal by Anderson's 31 day sale. Don't waste another minute dealing with your difficult, inefficient windows. Instead, 
Call for a free window diagnosis and see how Renewal by Anderson can help add more comfort to your home at an affordable price. Our exclusive low-maintenance fibrous composite material is twice as strong as vinyl and it won't warp or bow like vinyl does. Call this number now because this fantastic offer and special financing ends soon. Call today. Dirty Daniel Davis is liberal and dangerous. Davis voted to give driver's licenses and taxpayer-funded benefits to illegal immigrants. Voted to make it easier for criminals to cover up sexual assaults against children and to post funding for officers. Dirty Daniel even took campaign cash and partied with a strip club owner. Liberal on crime, liberal on illegal immigration, making our families less safe. Dirty Daniel Davis is a disgrace. Sponsored by Jack's First. You're watching Channel 4, the local station. Live with Jennifer Wall, Vic Michelucci, Bruce Hamilton, Melanie Lawson. Time saver traffic with Amanda DeVoe. The Weather Authority Forecast with Richard Nunn. And traffic and breaking news with Sky 4. The Morning Show continues. Right now, just after 8.30, Election Day is well underway. You are looking live at the First Timothy Baptist Church polling site on Jacksonville's north side. A lot of people out there with their signs, smiles, waving, trying to get people out there to the polls. Voters will decide who will be the next mayor of Jacksonville, various city council positions, also property appraiser. You have until 7 o'clock tonight to get out and vote. That's when the polling precincts close. Good morning, everyone. 33 minutes after 8 o'clock on this Tuesday morning. In the last hour of the morning show, Duval County Supervisor of Election Mike Hogan joined us. He had what voters need to know before they head out to their polling precinct, the very important information to make sure you don't get turned around. So make sure that you're at your right precinct. Uh, we've tried to help in every way we can. First of all, we sent out on every uh, mail ball uh, sample ballot, we've included uh, a precinct information for that voter. If you go to our website on the home page, it's, it's a, there's a link. It says, where do I vote? All you have to enter is your, the number of your address and then uh, the street name, and it'll tell you exactly where you vote. All right, make sure that you get it right. Double check it before you head out the door. And for those heading to the polls, it is a clear start to our Tuesday. Weather certainly cannot be an excuse for not making it out there to cast your ballot. That's right. We don't have any rain in the forecast, but they are probably going to need the jacket depending upon what time they head out, Rich. Yeah, if they go out there for the early voting, then they might need a light coat or jacket, a hoodie or something like that. And even later today, depending on their comfort level, as our highs are only going to take us into the 60s. And now we've got positive digits for everybody. Double digits here to the south between St. Augustine to Palm Coast and single digits as we move inland. But even those single digits will take 45, feeling down to about 40 degrees, 41 off to the west of us. And most of us have left the 30s behind. Live Oak will be the exception. And how about that? 59 now into the 60s for Palm Coast. Southeast Georgia continues with the 30s and the 40s, and that does include Kingsland moving up a degree in our 40s. Oh, you snuck in a 50 there, Meridian. So there's one area that does not have the feels like temperatures. The rest of those areas, anything on the plus side of five is going to feel chilly here, including that of the bus stop forecast as you make the walk later today, 67 degrees. Some kids will be seeing more clouds than sun as they head back home, and those will be anywhere between 95 to the beaches under the onshore flow. We will see partly cloudy to at times partly sunny skies. The breeze lets up and starts to shift a bit to the south. That brings up the temperatures and our cloud cover will be a little bit more sparse here as we look ahead to Wednesday and warmer temperatures. And that's really the trend here through the remainder of the work week. Just how high the digits are going to go. We'll take you through your work week and into the upcoming weekend when I see you back here at 845. Let's check with Amanda and your time saver traffic. Now, here is your time saver traffic. Well, good morning to you. Happy Tuesday, happy Election Day. Traffic has improved quite significantly since the top of the 8 a.m. hour. You can see that it's looking a little better at 95 North near University. That's where there was a crash here. It was on the shoulder, but things again have improved. All you're seeing, though, are some minor delays. So remember, we were following three different crashes. One was at Southside, the other one was at University, and then you have one at JTB. Well, all three crashes have since cleared, but you're still going to deal with the delays that remain. So just keep that in mind and make sure you add still about 10 to 15 minutes of extra travel time if you head out the door anytime 
anytime soon. So from 295 to downtown, traveling northbound on 95, 23 minute commute, so still 10 minutes slower than normal. However, you are right on time on the southbound side. And a quick look at I-10 from 295 to downtown on the eastbound side, slowly back to normal there as well. You're looking at 11 minutes in the yellow. That's because there was a disabled vehicle blocking the lane there, but that has cleared as well. Save travels. That's a look at your time saver traffic. Jacksonville is one step closer to having a University of Florida satellite campus here in the city. Mayor Curry signed the bill that would partially fund the graduate school. The mayor si shared these photos, in fact, as he signed that bill. It would allow the city to borrow $20 million this year to help pay for the possible expansion. The legislation also anticipates an additional $30 million split over fiscal years 2024 and 2025. The campus will focus on medical and financial technology. The Clay County Sheriff's Office is rolling out drones as its newest public safety tool. It's to help with investigations, rescues, active shooter situations. The agency now has three drones. Two will be assigned to patrol operations, and the third is assigned to the Emergency Preparedness Unit. Sheriff Michelle Cook says the drones give deputies a better look at some situations and will help keep people safe. So by having these uh, very uh, quick response drones available to the deputies on the street, we can turn what would have been an hour response time into just a few minutes of a response time. Along with aiding investigations, deputies say the drones will save taxpayers money that would usually go toward buying piloted police helicopters. A proposal to allow the death penalty for child rapists is one step closer to reality. After receiving approval from a Florida Senate committee yesterday, a House subcommittee will take up a similar measure today. If signed into law, a jury could impose the death sentence on someone convicted of raping a child 12 years old or younger. As lawmakers expand efforts to bulk up the military in the state, members of the Florida National Guard could soon be paid to bring in new recruits. The proposal is moving through the House. If approved, it would give Guard members $250 for referrals and an additional $250 upon a recruit's enlistment. The incentive-based program would be for existing and retired members. Currently, Florida's National Guard size ranks 53rd out of 54 states and territories. It is 39 minutes after 8 o'clock this morning on this Tuesday morning. Time for some spring cleaning. And this morning, we are helping you tackle carpets and floors. Ooh, they could be stubborn, can't they? Up next, Consumer Reports shares some must-have products for cleaner rugs and walkways. First, though, I want to take you back out to First Timothy Baptist Church. That's a polling site on the north side of Jacksonville. Voters there heading out to cast their votes this election day and certainly they're going to be greeted by lots of sign waivers as well. If you do vote today, we want to see your I voted stickers. Here are a few pictures we've received so far this morning. When you step out of your precinct, snap that I voted selfie and post it on newsforjacks.com slash snapjacks. We love to see all these pictures. Just look for the pics and look for the link to submit in the election day category. Space Oddity, the ultimate David Bowie experience, is a theatrically staged spectacle that transports audiences on a musical journey through the career of David Bowie. April 1st at Jacksonville Center for the Performing Arts. Tickets at fscjartistseries.org. Dirty Daniel Davis is liberal and dangerous. Davis voted to give driver's licenses and taxpayer-funded benefits to illegal immigrants. Voted to make it easier for criminals to cover up sexual assaults against children and opposed funding for officers. Dirty Daniel even took campaign cash and partied with a strip club owner. Liberal on crime, liberal on illegal immigration, making our families less safe. Dirty Daniel Davis is a disgrace. Sponsored by Jack's First. It would appear that the butler did it. But this isn't a whodunit film. It's a Nissan sales event. Ad. Now that's a killer deal. Good thing this Rogue has a VC turbo engine, unlike RAV4. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select models. Catch these offers while you can. 
In order for small businesses to thrive, they need to be smart, efficient, agile, and that's never been more important than it is right now. So for a limited time, Comcast Business is introducing small business savings. Call now to get powerful internet for just $39 a month with no contract and a money-back guarantee. All on the largest, fastest, reliable network from the company that powers more businesses than anyone else. Call and start saving today. Comcast Business, powering possibilities. Shop the Gibson McDonald tax refund sale and get big savings with up to 50% off on every room of the home. From fabric sectionals, power recliners, leather sofas, sleeper sofas, cozy bedrooms, dining sets, mattresses, and even home appliances. Only Gibson McDonald offers big savings store-wide, plus financing to fit any budget. So shop the tax refund sale and save now at Gibson McDonald through the end of the month. I'm Leanna Gutierrez Cumber. For too long, our city government hasn't worked for everyone. I'm running for mayor to fix our city and bring conservative change. I'm a mom, a former teacher, and a small business owner. I'm the daughter of a Cuban exile who has lived the American dream, and I know what it takes to get things done. I love Jacksonville, and on city council, I have passed legislation to make our city safer and fought to cut taxes. I'm asking for your vote for mayor because together we can make our city stronger. Space Oddity, the ultimate David Bowie experience, is a theatrically staged spectacle that transports audiences on a musical journey through the career of David Bowie. April 1st at Jacksonville Center for the Performing Arts. Tickets at fscjartistseries.org. We asked you what your least favorite chores are, and our News for Jacks insiders responded. This was probably an easy one for you. So we heard everything from cleaning the kitchen to scrubbing the bathrooms to doing laundry. We also found that many of you really don't like doing the dishes. Yep, I hear you. So Charlie wrote, I'll agree to clean the entire house if someone else could just wash dishes or load and unload the dishwasher. Rosemary also doesn't like doing the dishes either. In fact, she writes, I am one of 13 children, and back in the those days, the only dishwasher was us kids. And the worst day, she says, of the week was Sunday because always there was a big dinner and everyone would be home on that day. All right. We did get some one-word responses when it came to cleaning floors as well. Kathy said mopping was her least favorite. Janice said her least favorite chore is vacuuming. Consumer Reports is hearing the same thing. A lot of people dread cleaning their floors and their carpets. So to make that job one less of a chore, its experts are revealing some must-have products this year. Do an online search for carpet cleaning and you'll likely see hundreds of professionals in action delivering stunning results. If you want that same level of satisfaction for your own floors without the cost of a pro, Consumer Reports experts have solutions. A washable rug is a great option for some, and Consumer Reports just tested several, including the popular Ruggable brand. Washable rugs can be a great option for people with pets, kids, or those who entertain often. They're also great for high traffic areas. One panelist was particularly wowed with this one for its washability and softness. And instead of breaking out the big vacuum, consider a lightweight stick vac for quick cleanups. Our tests have found that stick vacs can do more than just a quick pass cleaning, especially if you don't have a lot of wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. This shark aced Consumer Reports tests for bare floors and pet hair. When it comes to mopping, for non-wood floors, skip the old squeeze mop and consider a steam mop like the Bissell Powerfresh Slim. It offers an easier way to scrub tile. For wood floors, stick to a damp mop and a cleaner formulated for your floor's finish. If your home has more carpet than bare floors, Consumer Reports says you'll need a good full-size vacuum to get deep down dirt. This Hoover wind tunnel is a top performing upright in Consumer Reports tough tests. And when it comes time for a deeper clean, consider this Hoover carpet cleaner. It earned very good scores in Consumer Reports' cleaning tests which consists of removing red clay stains from a carpet. Hopefully not a daily chore you'll likely encounter at your home. That red clay goes out to all of our Georgia viewers. <laughs> right. <laughs> they have a lot yeah, of that, sure. especially in South Georgia. To keep people from bringing dirt indoors, Consumer Reports recommends adding a doormat outside of your entryway, saying 
Those are made of coir, which is a natural fiber and a great option. And be sure to join us every morning this week as we offer you some easy spring cleaning hacks. So tomorrow, reducing clutter and getting your favorite spaces organized, including the method that professional organizers recommend if you just have a hard time letting go of all that stuff. Then Thursday, we are turning the spotlight on your car. Yes, it needs spring cleaning too. And then on Friday, we are taking a closer look at your garage. Can you even park your car in the garage? The items that just aren't worth keeping. That's every day this week here on The Morning Show. We'll be right back. If you're looking to get into a new car now, get into AutoNation Ford for great offers that'll get you going. Like your favorite new Ford car and truck models with 0% APR financing. Hurry to AutoNation Ford now. Campaigns are rough. Rebecca and I knew we'd be attacked, but didn't expect desperate opponents to go this far. You deserve better. For me, Jacksonville's worth fighting for. I won't let power-hungry politicians in City Hall distract from the real issues, like making Jacksonville a safer city. Together, we'll build bridges to a brighter future for every family. I'm Daniel Davis. I'll always fight for a better Jacksonville. I'd be honored to have your support. Bright Futures has awarded over 950,000 scholarships. You could be next. We fund futures. Visit FloridaBrightFutures.gov to learn more. Bright Futures pays. I was on the way to work and I got rear-ended. The first person that I called was Morgan & Morgan. With Morgan & Morgan, the process in general, very easy. I could be in a different state and for me to just do this, click this e-sign, I'm like, okay. Working with Morgan & Morgan is so easy. Now through Tuesday, shop the Rooms to Go anniversary sofa sale. Get big savings and endless sofa possibilities. Every sofa is on sale. Save on fabric sofas in your favorite styles. Plush leather sofas, casual to contemporary. Sleeper sofas, comfortable and versatile. Reclining sofas for kicking back. And sectionals perfect for entertaining. Every sofa you see is priced low to sell fast. So shop the Rooms to Go anniversary sofa sale now through Tuesday. Every sofa is on sale. Brakes for less. If you have the squeal, we have the deal. All four wheels for $199. Why do customers choose us? Our fast in and out service. Our upfront approach. We only fix what your vehicle needs. Our premium parts. You won't find better value for your money. It's simple. All we do are brakes. Don't forget, get us your keys by 430 and your brakes are done today. Brakes for less. Make an appointment online. Give us a call or just walk in. I'm Leanna Gutierrez-Cumber. For too long, our city government hasn't worked for everyone. I'm running for mayor to fix our city and bring conservative change. I'm a mom, a former teacher, and a small business owner. I'm the daughter of a Cuban exile who has lived the American dream, and I know what it takes to get things done. I love Jacksonville, and on city council, I have passed legislation to make our city safer and fought to cut taxes. I'm asking for your vote for mayor because together we can make our city stronger. If you're looking to get into a new car now, get into AutoNation Ford for great offers that'll get you going. Like your favorite new Ford car and truck models with 0% APR financing. Hurry to AutoNation Ford now. Exact Track 4D detects dangerous weather days ahead of time so you can make the right plans for your family. ET40 is going to have a pretty quiet week here, just a spotty chance for some showers. And if we're tracking anything, looks like for today to come in off the Atlantic, we'll do it again tomorrow. It won't be until the weekend where we have, yep, just in time, uh, a spotty chance for showers as the frontal boundary comes through. We've got a little bit more cloud cover here with Union County and parts of St. Augustine. By the time we get to Palatka, a lot of blue skies here, more of the same as you continue north there into Baker County. But we're back to some clouds that linger here over parts of Palm Coast and Bradford County. Temperatures continue to climb. We got to the lower 40s here. We had the wiggle room to take us into the 30s. It looks like 40 would be our low, 41 off to the west with 50s and now our 60s. And there you go. The update came in 48 degrees just that fast. Now you've got more than what we've got at the airport. 30s got a handful of them that are left over here between 38, 37, 35 there at Valdosta. Lots of lower 40s, which means that through the at least the early part of the nine o'clock hour, we're still feeling the pinch from the wind before those temperatures will start to climb. And same things uh, north 
Southeast Florida with our 30s, the one here, one lone 30 at Live Oak, getting ready to step into the 40s in the rest of those 40s. These, I do believe, will increase up to 50 degrees, but we could have some leftover. Still puts us on the plus side of what we woke up to yesterday. 16 degrees warmer, 11 and at Jacksonville right now where we started with some temperatures at or just below what we woke up to. We're seeing those positive digits already. This is our live radar. I haven't done much with it just because it doesn't show that much. But here's I changed the scope from exact track radar mode to exact track cloud cover. You can see with the satellite, we are starting to see some of the light intrusion here through parts of Flagler, St. or um, Volusia, Flagler, and just getting into offshore here from southern St. John's County. And because of that onshore flow, I do believe we'll see some of those clouds from time to time here beachside. But other than that, you can see just how dry things become. This should actually have some showers and things like that associated with it. But across the southeast, our conditions are going to be remaining pretty quiet here for the next several days. The depiction of the showers, I think, says it all. What will remain largely offshore and to our south could just spell for a few spotty showers here before not only today's done, but tomorrow. And then again, this weekend, we'll start to see that but it's going to be a different animal coming through. That's going to come from the west to the east. Our temperatures here, and this was a mess this morning. However, this looks pretty good. It's seeing a little too much cloud cover as we continue through the inland areas, but we will see them here locally into our beaches with our temperatures that will take us only to the 60s. And this doesn't exactly follow my forecast, but it does bring in some of the 70s while we continue mainly in the 60s due to what will be the onshore flow. Pollen count, it's up there here for today. 9.6, Sneffelin, Sneeze, Dust, is everywhere and it's everything trying to get you. 67 degrees, 20 percent beachside. Those numbers will continue to fade. Away. Oh, speaking of beachside, another shot here. It's a twofer on a Tuesday here. Sound like a rock station. Uh, have a great day, Mayport Village. That is from Ed Van Voorhees. And every time I see those shots, I think of fish sandwiches. Um, the uh, what's it? Um, some shrimp sandwiches and heading out there to uh, to Mayport, hitting some of the restaurants along the way. Maybe the uh, chowder place. Head by Ted's. We've got Wednesday and Thursday with the 80s that continue. 84 degrees as we look ahead to your Thursday. And those numbers are warmer yet. We're flirting with record values here Friday. They come down a little bit, but still above our seasonal trend. We're just moving into spring. We should have 70s. And instead, we've got daytime, high, daytime highs area-wide that will take us to above normal and flirt with those records as we close out of the work week. Missed anything? Mark got you covered coming up in the 9 o'clock hour. The seven-day planning forecast is brought to you by Shore Break Roofing. Your glasses say a lot about you, so you want frames that fit your face, your style, and your budget. Book your eye exam today. Get two pairs of glasses for $95 plus a free eye exam and lens upgrade. Find your perfect fit at My Eye Lab. I'm Leanna Gutierrez-Cumber. For too long, our city government hasn't worked for everyone. I'm running for mayor to fix our city and bring conservative change. I'm a mom, a former teacher, and a small business owner. I'm the daughter of a Cuban exile who has lived the American dream, and I know what it takes to get things done. I love Jacksonville, and on city council, I have passed legislation to make our city safer and fought to cut taxes. I'm asking for your vote for mayor because together we can make our city stronger. What's up, Jacksonville? Doc Tony. You know accidents happen out of nowhere. You're sitting on a light, all of a sudden, bam, you get rear-ended. It might change your day, it might even ruin your day. Don't let it affect your health. Get treated for your injuries. You have 14 days to see a doctor or lose your insurance benefits. The sooner you see a doctor, the better. After 911, call the doctor you know you can trust. That's me, Doc Tony, at 1-800-DOC-TONY. I'm more than a catchy number, I'm real. The Subaru Crosstrack. Dog tested, dog approved. Love, it's what makes Subaru, Subaru. So if I need new floors, Carpet One lets me shop how I want, in the store, at home, or online. And I can shop for floors anytime I want, from anywhere, and have samples delivered right to my door. Absolutely, Carol. But you don't need a talking dog to tell you that. Here to floor you. Carpet One Floor and Home. 
Well, if you're so smart, why are you scared of the vacuum? Dirty Daniel Davis is liberal and dangerous. Davis voted to give driver's licenses and taxpayer-funded benefits to illegal immigrants. Voted to make it easier for criminals to cover up sexual assaults against children and to post funding for officers. Dirty Daniel even took campaign cash and partied with a strip club owner. Liberal on crime, liberal on illegal immigration, making our families less safe. Dirty Daniel Davis is a disgrace. Sponsored by Jack's First. With over a thousand frames, find the frames that fit your style, your budget, and your schedule. Book your same day eye exam today. Get two pairs of glasses for $95 plus a free eye exam and lens upgrade. Find your perfect fit at My Eye Lab. Seven Mandarin Middle School students are taking home national prizes for their efforts to raise awareness about poisoning risks. How exciting is that? Students made a video advertisement for the Poison Helpline. You may remember we had many of them right here on the morning show to talk about those videos before they went to the national competition. And we said, keep us updated. They did. They have won. Here are the winners. Matthew Harvey took the People's Choice Award. Julia Aldrich and Addie Larson took the award for their grade. And Demarcus Ganaway, Julian Sholly, and William Jones, as well as Isaiah Vera, took the grand prize. Here's a look at their video. Keep meds in original packages. S store meds up and away. Read labels every time. Nothing is childproof. All right, so the group gets $1,000 for their work. Mandarin Middle will also get $500 to help with the effort. That is awesome. Congratulations to all of our local winter winners. We're certainly very proud of you. Way to go. And thanks for sharing the update with us as well. Thank you for joining us for the news at 8. Hey, we've got a lot more to talk about, so don't go anywhere. The news at 9 starts right after the break. Hanania Subaru of Orange Park and Animal Care and Protective Services are united this season to promote responsible pet ownership. As a part of our love promise, we are committed to changing the lives of our pets and the families who adopt them. Join us by volunteering or donating today. For property appraiser, only one candidate is conservative and qualified, Danny Batten. Only one candidate has run a small business, Danny Batten. Only one candidate has a rock solid record as a top conservative on the Jacksonville City Council, Danny Batten. Only one candidate is endorsed by outgoing property appraiser Jerry Holland, Danny Batten. The conservative we need, the experience to lead, Danny Batten for property appraiser. If you have a dispute with your insurance company, we'll fight to make the insurance company uphold their side of the contract and pay your claim. Farah and Farah. At Take 5, you stay in your car because we're faster than you think. Oil change is done. But I didn't have time to fix my garage door opener. You gotta do what you gotta do! Take 5, to stay in your car, 10-minute oil change. I'm Leanna Gutierrez-Cumber. For too long, our city government hasn't worked for everyone. I'm running for mayor to fix our city and bring conservative change. I'm a mom, a former teacher, and a small business owner. I'm the daughter of a Cuban exile who has lived the American dream, and I know what it takes to get things done. I love Jacksonville, and on city council, I have passed legislation to make our city safer and fought to cut taxes. I'm asking for your vote for mayor because together we can make our city stronger. Injured, call Morgan & Morgan for the people. Hanania Subaru of Orange Park and Animal Care and Protective Services are united this season to promote responsible pet ownership. As a part of our love promise, we are committed to changing the lives of our pets and the families who adopt them. Join us by volunteering or donating today. Exact Track 4D, tracking and dissecting storms down to your street. Live from the local station, the morning show starts now. And right now at 9 o'clock, one of these people will eventually be Jacksonville's next mayor. Voting is underway in the River City, and the polls opened two hours ago at 7 o'clock and will stay open until 7 tonight. Early voting turnout was kind of low, so make sure that you get out there and you vote and you make your vote count. So there are dozens of polling places all across the county, and some have changed since the last election, so make sure you note that. It's a big day for Duval County. Everything you need to know to make sure that your vote is counted in just a few minutes. First, we do want to take a look at what else is on the rundown on this Tuesday morning. 
Keeping your heart healthy, it's pretty much a given that fast food and added salt can put you at risk for heart disease. Coming up, the eight foods cardiologists say Oh. They will never eat, and the one on the list that might surprise you. I hope that we still can have pizza, because, you know, a little every now and then, you know, it doesn't hurt you. Pizza might not be good for the heart, but it's good for the soul. Oh, it is. That good food. All right, also, speaking of eating healthy, spring cleaning your eating habits. You probably haven't thought of that one. One piece of, it, or one piece of advice from an expert starts with your spice cabinet. So coming up, we'll talk more about that simple and light recipe that you could try this spring when things start to heat up. Also, kids, adults, early kids are not getting enough sleep, but there is one thing that we parents can do now that will help them get more shut eye every single night. We're gonna tell you about that one coming up in the second half hour. First though, we do wanna get you caught up on your forecast. If you're still in bed, get up, get outside, enjoy this beautiful day. It's 9.02, but it is 51 degrees, a little chillier than most of us would expect out there as you look at Jacksonville International Airport, downtown Jacksonville, and St. Augustine. Beautiful, beautiful views out there it today, is. Mel. Yeah, it's breezy, though, so it is chilly this morning, Mark. But, man, things are going to warm up, and then they're just going to keep on warming up. That's right. And Melanie, I'm already hearing people say, oh, I wish it were cool again. That's what they're going to be saying on Friday when we get temperatures closer to 90 degrees than the 50s that we've seen around here this morning. Right now, one of our milder spots is in St. Augustine at 62 with that wind coming in off the ocean, really holding up your numbers. It is a breezy day, and those winds are blowing at about 15 sustained, but we've seen gusts higher than that, 20, 25, and we could see some gusts to 30 later during the course of the day. You can see water temperatures here in the low to mid 60s, very close to the actual air temperature in St. Augustine. But you get away from the coast and you get down into those cooler 50 degree readings here in Jacksonville and still colder over inland zones in the mid 40s. But today begins the warm up here and tonight will not be as cool as what we're seeing here. In fact, today we could get closer to 70 degrees. All pretty dry upstream of us. There's some rain back over Arkansas. It's going to be very wet over the days to come in the Tennessee area back through Missouri. We'll have a small chance for some isolated showers only at the coast and that's mainly towards the late afternoon and early evening hours in St. John's and Flagler counties. Otherwise, look for a milder day with temperatures over the inland areas around 70 degrees, cooler at the coast because of those beach gusts to 25. In fact, the one small area that could see some rain, you could see the green here kind of carved out across those coastal areas and rain amounts will be very light under a tenth of an inch of rain. As those winds increase, it develops this trough and where the winds converge along the trough, you can see this little band of rain off the coastline. We'll see some clouds rolling in through southern Georgia during the course of the day. That trough is going to be lifting northward, so we might see some areas of rain across the Golden Isles here overnight tonight. And then general, as that trough weakens, we're back to drier weather here for Wednesday and highs, which will be in the 80s. Coming up at 930, I'll tell you how long those 80s are going to stick around, and I'll let you know what's ahead for the weekend. Mark, thank you. Vote 2023. The polls are open across Jacksonville. They opened more than two hours ago. Voters casting their ballots for mayor as well as other city leaders. Now, there is a crowded field, you know, the race for Jacksonville's mayor with seven candidates in the running. So they are Omega Allen, Leanna Cumber, Daniel Davis, Donna Deegan, Al Ferraro, Audrey Gibson, and Frank Kiesler Jr. Now, city council seats and property appraiser are also on this ballot. News for Jack's reporter Brianna Andrews has been following this all morning long. Brianna, unlike early voting, voters must vote at their assigned precinct, so it's a bit different today. Yes, it's a bit different. While there are 186 precincts across the city, you have to vote at your designated precinct. We're actually at uh, one of the precincts right here. This is the Johnny W. Walker Community Center. So far, we've been seeing a good amount of people go in and uh, place their ballot, but nothing too crazy, no long lines, nothing like that this morning. It's important to keep in mind, though, that some precincts have changed since the last election. If you're unsure where your polling place is, you can visit duvallelections.gov and click my voter status or you can always call the supervisor of elections first.